how did I manage to save thousands off our yearly budget? We have been in debt as a family, but of course changing our money mindset, turning our budget into something that filled us with joy and excitement about what we could do with our money rather than filled with financial obligations was a real life changer for us. So in today's video, I want to break down how we saved thousands on our yearly budget. You can do the exact same with your budget, I have no doubt as well. So today I'm going to tell you exactly what we got rid of in our budget, what we added to our budget, and I know that you can do the same with yours. So if you're struggling in any way whatsoever with your money, I hope today is going to be really inspiring for you. We're no means at the end of our journey, but this just shows you once you make that decision to change your financial destination around, then you never know what you can achieve. Hi there, welcome back to my channel today. My name is Jennifer from mamafurfur.com. I make videos all about personal finance, investing, and success mindset. Today's video is touching on that success mindset along with personal finance. I want to break down exactly where we saved huge chunks of money from our budget and how we're redirecting them in other areas that actually matter to us. So if you've got a notepad and pen, there's gonna to be tons of suggestions on this video. I think you're gonna really enjoy it. And as always, please hit subscribe so you never miss any of my videos. So if you've followed my channel for a while, I've touched on this a couple of times, but our background was we were in some serious consumer debt, £24,000 actually to be precise of consumer credit card debt. So that debt was actually my partner's previous relationship debt that then we decided to tackle together. So I had never actually experienced consumer debt before. I'd always just lived within my means, within paycheck to paycheck, had a bit of savings. And so having this debt that had financial obligations to clear it seemed like such a mammoth and overwhelming task. Ask. I was actually on my second maternity leave and decided that I just couldn't live this way anymore. We had to be smarter with our money. It was no good trying to fight the fires, trying to get rid of a little bit of money if we could. We really had to tackle it. So in our case, we actually decided to get a loan to attack that debt in one monthly payment. Now that's not advice for every single situation, of course. That just worked in our favour because we were able to. It was the lowest way to get rid of that debt once and for all. I've got a video from a couple of years ago that talks more about it and I'll leave that link below. So that's why I feel so passionate about helping people get more of their money in their pocket. It's about creating passive incomes, it's actually creating things that matter to you the most with your money. I don't want you to be consumed with debt and past financial decisions. It's all about keeping more of your money and allowing you to design life with the things that matter to you right now and in the future. So I'll touch upon that first step that everyone needs to apply before you look at even saving any money or tackling some of these bigger financial burdens such as debt. The first thing you have to do is you have to have a budget. I personally love having an electronic budget. I like to manipulate it. As you know, I get very excited by that. So I created my autopilot money spreadsheets that anyone can use to track net worth, pay off budget, everything's included there. That first version of those spreadsheets a number of years ago was what we used with our family. So we just simply set the goal of itemizing exactly what was coming in and what was going out. Step one, making sure we understood where our limits were. Now, of course, we were lucky that there actually was surplus, but I know in a lot of cases, people might actually find more money simply going out the door than you're making in. So you're keeping in that cycle of lack. So as I've touched upon, we saved thousands off our budget and we continue to save money very strategically so that we can place it in other places. I'm not a strict believer in frugality. What I mean by that is I don't believe that you should scrimp and save so hard in the areas that actually bring you joy just to pile up money. I actually believe you should spend your money that gives you joy and abundance. It shouldn't be having a very expensive food budget if it doesn't really make you feel great inside. It also doesn't matter what brand of toilet paper you buy because ultimately these small decisions can add up but if you're on the right mind frame that everything is adding to the big picture of your life, you're working towards great financial goals of financial freedom and independence, these smaller decisions are only part of the picture. So the amount of money that we've saved is actually close to about £12,000 a year that we cut from our budget. The first place I've touched upon it was that consumer debt. We had roughly £1,032 a month going out the door on debt in some form. We had car payments, two cars, we had a motorbike that was also being leased, we also had that debt payment towards at £24,000. So in total, over £1,000 purely for past financial decisions. We simply didn't have the cash to buy out cars. We didn't have the cash for these items. We didn't have the cash to buy cars. So we simply put them on leasing deals. We needed two because we were going to two separate places every day for our work. A huge amount 
spent our money just on consumer debt. Although they were definitely adding value in terms of the cars, we weren't seeing the value at all and most of our money going to pay off that debt. So as I touched upon, the first thing that we actually did was attack the debt, that big portion of the money, which was roughly £500 on its own paying of that £24,000 loan. So what we did was we actually decided it would be a conscious effort to throw as much money as we could. We used the snowball method. So because it was simply just one debt, it didn't matter actually the order that we did our debts in, we just simply attacked it. And it's interesting, when you decide to attack one particular debt, it almost becomes like a game. We'd suddenly find money and throw it at it. You'd suddenly get a bonus at work and throw it at it. All these little things really added up. And our five years that we thought it would take us to pay off that debt, actually we were debt free within three and a half years. The second place was then the cars. And simply we did the same strategy. We decided to save up. Every time we got a bonus or extra amounts of the house, we threw it at that debt. And so overall, within about four, four and a half years, we got rid of completely all our consumer debt. So it wasn't just the 24,000 pounds worth of consumer debt on cars that were paying off. We also had those car loans. We actually even decided to sell one of the cars and get a much cheaper car with cash. We actually decided as well to get rid of the motorbike until we can afford to get one in cash. And we've actually made those decisions and feel pretty good about them. We haven't got the motorbike yet. Again, we've got our two cars. They're completely bought outright. So we know the actual living expenses for those items is so much lower and part of our budget now. The next place that we saved a huge amount of money every single year was actually our energy bill. So we have gas and electricity combined. If you've been watching a couple of my budget with me videos, you will know that our electricity and gas bill I felt was really quite high. Well, the crazy thing is it would have probably been closer to £150 had I not made this change. So we decided actually to switch from British Gas to Bulb Energy and they actually took off £50 from our bill in one easy step. So that's £50 every single month. So £600 a year we have saved by just switching energy provider. We live in a three bedroom home in Glasgow. So our electricity and gas shouldn't be that expensive. It should be fairly moderate, it's a new build, but that price of being £150 seemed crazy. So if you fancy trying bulb yourself, I found them to be one of the cheapest on the market, saving us a huge amount of money. I've got my refer a friend link below that you can go and use if you fancy checking them out. You actually get a little bit of money saved off your bill they also reward me with a little bit of money but don't let that put you off go watch whatever provider feels like the right one for you the next place we saved money roughly 150 pounds a year was actually our tv license so obviously there is some caveats with you not having a tv license in the uk if you watch the bbc in any format whether it be on iplayer or actually on your tv you must have a tv license for us we simply don't we use netflix we use amazon we often put in dvds we have I haven't actually missed the TV since we cut it from our budget about three years ago. It was certainly very scary to do that. We had cable TV, we had all these luxury items and we simply decided one week to try it. We'd go for a month without. If we didn't enjoy it, we'd put it back in our budget. We did that decision and we have never looked back. And we have two small children as well. So, you know, naturally you might think we want cartoons, we want TV for them, but you do not miss it. And it's one of the best decisions we ever made. Along with that, we actually saved about £40 a month. So roughly four hundred. 80 pounds a year from our cable bill. So at the moment we only have broadband and the very basic phone package which we don't even use. That cut our monthly amount from 75 pounds down to roughly 32 pounds. We don't have TV, we do not need any of those packages because we're simply using the available services such as Netflix and Amazon and we're quite happy with that. So a really easy place again. If you're not wanting to give up your TV license, think about perhaps cutting out part of your cable bills. The next place we ended up saving a lot of money was actually gym memberships. My husband and I both had gym memberships, not expensive ones up here in Glasgow. My one was roughly about £29 a month. My husband's was about £10 a month. I used to go to the local gym, take part in classes, do my workouts there. And then we decided we would remove that and actually use in-home equipment instead. So we invested in the garage, flipped that around for one year, bought some equipment. I've got an exercise bike, I've got free weights, we've got some really good kettlebells as well. And so consistently for about the past four and a half years, we have been working out in our garage instead of a gym. So that amount of money that we would have spent on our membership, using part of it and actually funding a gym has saved us hundreds of pounds every single year. And the great thing is that I've found because our gym is in our garage or in your living room, wherever you want to do it, you actually end up exercising more. It's part of my life. I'm not having to organize getting in my pee kit, getting in the car, going there, working out and adding all this time. I can simply get up, work 
out, look after my body and back in the house. It's a really great investment, even picking up one or two free weights or simply an exercise bike, you can use it for a long term in your life. The next place we've saved roughly 50 to 70 pounds a year is actually paying off our car insurance in full and haggling. I love the power of haggling. If you've got any direct debits, any bills that you pay monthly or yearly, such as your home insurance, your car insurance, pet insurance, please haggle, even if you have no intention of actually not using them in the future. It's always worth seeing what their best version of your quote can be, even if you intend to use somebody else. I always do it as well, even if I'm quite happy with that provider, I just want to see actually have they got a better deal that I could have access to. A lot of people might be a little bit scared, a little bit intimidated, just ask the question. I've seen this a little bit cheaper, is that the best you can do? And then wait for their answer. As I say, we've saved consistently off each bill roughly 10 to 15% just by asking that question. So when you've got car insurance, home insurance, pet insurance, these things can really add up. And I know I've saved at least a couple of hundred pounds every year on those major outgoings for us, something that you have to pay. Also really recommend paying yearly. So having sinking funds, little pots of money where you're actually working towards those bigger insurance amounts allow you to take advantages of cheaper deals. Often when we pay monthly, there's actually interest hidden in there. It could even be small, like one or 2%, it's still extra money when you could get it off your budget completely and make it a yearly amount. Finally, one of the most obvious places to actually save money consistently is with your food budget. We have two small boys, two adults and two cats in our house, so I think we're pretty typical with what we're spending. We roughly have a food budget of between 300 to 350 pounds, but I managed to cut off previous amounts by about 100, 150 pounds a month simply by being better with my meal planning. I meal plan every week, usually breakfast, lunch, and dinner every single meal with some flexibility or maybe one or two dinners that could be put in the freezer if we don't get around to eat them. I also batch a lot of our meals so I'll make a lot of bulk items, two, three, four portions that when it's busier we won't be tempted to get those takeaways. We simply don't eat takeaways really in our house. It is perhaps a once a month thing if we pop out, we're out and about, we maybe grab a burger. We don't have Chinese's, we don't have pizzas in. It's just because we're in the habit of making our own versions first. So this is often the first place I advise everyone. Don't focus on some of the bigger bills, focus on your daily habits. And the obvious place is what you're actually eating. Get better with your spending. I'm not in the camp that you have to give up your morning coffee if it brings you joy. However, if you are over spending every single month on your budget as a whole, then these little pockets of money, like that morning coffee, that morning bagel, you really have to look at better alternatives. Could you make it yourself, just even for a month to see what you save? If you don't enjoy it, you don't like it, then go back to the old habits, perhaps a cheaper way. Perhaps taking your coffee in or getting it in the office, but buying a pack of rolls to make for lunches or something small, make it more enjoyable for you. Give it up for a month and then see if you actually want to go back to your old habit. So I really think these areas where we cut money from our budget are really straightforward and absolutely achievable by anyone. Once you get to that happy place where you feel like everything within your budget is pretty well spent, you've got a lot of joy from perhaps going to those keep fit classes once a week, you're looking forward to Netflix or if you're using Amazon Prime or any of these little items, then really you should be confident that you're attempting to make your budget do the best for you in your life. I don't want people to feel guilty. Instead, I want to flip the power back into your hands. And so for us, that money that we saved now means that we've been able to do life a bit differently. I am still working full time. I've got this YouTube channel, but my husband has been able to do further education courses and we've been able to change the structure of who's helping to look after the children in our house. Something I always wished we could do that we've actually been able to make a reality. The other thing and our passion was traveling and giving the opportunity to our kids to be able to travel more than we perhaps experienced. So for us, putting aside a monthly amount towards towards travel as well, towards experiences, towards fun as a family, I've been able to put that back into our budget. There's guilt-free spending so that we don't need to worry that there's debts or there's other areas that are demanding the money instead. I've also been able to invest in herself as I touched upon. So that saving that money has meant that I've been able to get a mentor. My husband's been able to do further education courses. Every week as well, my two 
every week as well. My oldest son does swimming lessons and goes to an art class. Youngest son gets to go to nursery to actually expand his life as well. And finally, the biggest change has been from that life of debt, making debt payments, a huge amount of our money going towards there, as well as other financial obligations on top. We've managed to consistently invest 10 to 20% of our income every single month. That's on index funds that we actually invest in. I'm then investing in my business, my YouTube channel and my blog. I'm also investing in mentorship and education but we've also managed to achieve nearly 36% savings rate and as you know the savings rate that you're putting aside in investments or just long-term savings drives when you can become financially free. My goal is that we will achieve that within 10 to 15 years. I'm okay though with whatever comes our way but I have this great goal that we can get there and I would say if you're brand new on any financial journey if we can start the way we were just four four and a half years ago turn it around the way that we have I promise everyone can as well it's not how much you earn I'm going to stress that every single time I speak about money it's not how much you earn it's what you do with it that matters and hopefully today it's really given you the inspiration could you cut it in some way even just for a month and see if you can live without it after all if we don't try we never know thank you so much for watching today I hope you really enjoyed this little insight into my own budgeting and some of the things that we have discovered have really made an impact in our life as always I would love to hear your comments if you've got any video title suggestions you can leave them down below and I would love you to hit that like button all helps with the algorithm so that more people can find me I have really enjoyed today's video and as always I'll see you very soon